When someone gets sick, this is what we see, a bacteria or a virus or parasite in the body attacking our cells. And then our T-cells turn on and multiply and attack the bacteria or virus to shut it down. But we're so in the box, we're only seeing one small part of the whole picture. We have to step back and see the entire picture of what's happening to truly understand it. What happened before the bacteria or virus was in the picture? Until we understand and address this big picture of what happened before bacteria and viruses appeared in the body, superbugs such as COVID-19 will continue to emerge. All life is made up of healthy cells. This could be a cross-section of healthy cells of any part of your body, any organ or gland or bone or skin or any body part at all. When cells die from trauma, exposure to environmental toxins, or deficiencies, you are left with cell corpses or cellular debris. When you have these dead cells in the body, our body turns on microbes and bacteria to move in and break down these dead cells and toxins. These microbes and bacteria can break down dead cells and toxins into a tiny fraction of its original size. This is so it can be eliminated from your body easier. We see this process happen all the time with fruits and vegetables. Over time, the healthy cells die, then bacteria and mold start to grow on the dead cells to break them down. No one went out and found some microbes or bacteria or mold to spread on the fruit. Cells already have the components inside of them to turn on and create this process. The exact same thing happens inside and outside of the human body. Humans are made of over 100 trillion microbes and bacteria with over 10,000 different species. Human cells from any organ, gland, or body part can die from trauma, exposure to environmental toxins that destroy them, and deficiencies that weaken them. We see this all the time. An overabundance of alcohol is a toxin which can kill too many healthy liver cells, causing cirrhosis. Toxins destroy healthy cells of the lungs, leaving dead cells and poisons. When toxins travel through the blood vessels, they damage the lining called the endothelium. Then, toxic cooked fat and calcium plaques build up. Toxins that dump into the GI tract damage healthy cells on their way out of the body. When cells die, the body goes into cleansing mode. Bacteria that is already within the body turn on and move in to break down the dead cells and the toxins into a tiny fraction of its original size. This is basic biology. Bacteria can reduce dead cells into a fraction of its original size. This debris is now easier to be eliminated from the body. Then, T cells turn on and come in and shut down the bacteria because the bacteria has done its job and it's not needed any longer. Then fluids are sent to this area to flush all of this debris and residual toxins out of the body. The more debris in the area to flush out, the more fluids are necessary. This is what we call inflammation. These fluids carry the dead cells and toxins out of our organs through any possible orifice of our body. They come out of our nose, mouth, ears, eyes, our skin, our genitals, and our colon. Most of the time we go about our day not even knowing this is happening. These are microbacterial detoxifications that happen inside our body 24-7, 365. After the toxins and debris have flushed out, that body part is left with a deficiency of healthy cells. Now it's our job to help our body rebuild new healthy cells to strengthen the organ or gland or body part. If we do not intake the proper nutrition to rebuild healthy cells, we're left with this deficiency in the organ or gland and it will not work properly. When a body part stops working properly, we call this disease and we give it a name. But if we're eating the proper nutrition as these natural detoxifications are continually happening, you can rebuild new healthy cells and that body part continues to function well. This is health. The problem is this. Man was designed to live synergistically in this world, not this world, or this world, or this world, or this world, or this world. 
The toxic world that has been created by man has caused us to be exposed to more environmental poisons on a daily basis than ever. More healthy cells get destroyed faster than our body can remove them, and we end up with an accumulation of this debris in our body causing ill health. Our body wants to save itself, so it multiplies the bacteria, giving us a high bacterial count so these microbes can get in and get the job done of breaking down the dead cells and toxins. If the body is extremely toxic, it turns on a virus to do the job. Viruses are highly efficient and can multiply quickly in weakened cells. They work so well at breaking down debris quickly, it's almost like how dish soap or a solvent would dissolve or break down oil. Once the bacteria or virus has done its job of breaking down the debris, the T cells move in to shut them down. Naturally, if the body were very toxic, there would be a high bacterial count or highly active virus in the body, which would take more T cells to shut them down after they have cleaned house. More debris and toxins to be flushed out means more fluids are needed, which means more inflammation in the body. The more debris and fluids you have to move out, means they're going to come out of us in a higher volume. This time, it's noticeable. We call this elimination process symptoms. Coughing, runny nose, earwax, tears, nasal discharge, skin rashes, sweat from fever, diarrhea, and genital discharge all carry toxins out of the body with them. Everything that comes out of the body carries dead cells, debris, scar tissue, and toxins out with it. A bacterial or viral infection is actually a bacterial or viral detoxification. But what do we do when we get symptoms? The first sign of a minor bacterial or viral detoxification, we do everything we can to stop the symptoms, which stops the detoxification process. Stopping this natural elimination process prevents the poisons from coming out and pushes them back into the body to restore. And what do we do? We go back out into the world and continue to expose ourselves to more poisons that we have created. And we end up with even more poisons and dead cells and scar tissue in the body. And then our body turns on another natural bacteria or virus to go in and try to clean us out again. And we keep continuing this pattern over and over and over until eventually we have toxic body overload. Now our body is very smart and it will do everything it can to save us. It says, okay, I've tried this bacteria and that bacteria, but it's not working. I've tried this virus and that virus over and over, but they're not working either. This body is so full of debris and poisons, I really have to get it cleaned out. So I better create something stronger. And superbugs are born. Bacteria and viruses do not cause disease. Humans have poisoned our world, and our poisoned world is poisoning us. It's the toxic body which causes bacteria and viruses to emerge. This has been proven in some of the best medical facilities around. The herpes virus was injected into brain tumors, shrinking and eliminating them without harming one healthy cell around the tumor. E. coli and salmonella were injected into cancerous tumors, shrinking and eliminating them without harming one healthy cell around the tumor. Cold and flu viruses were injected into cancerous tumors, shrinking or completely eliminating them. In every one of these studies where bacteria or viruses were injected into cancerous tumors, the tumors shrank or were completely eliminated. And you can probably guess the side effects. They were typical symptoms of fever, diarrhea, runny nose, coughing up mucus and phlegm, sneezing. Again, this is how the toxins and debris comes out of our body. We poison our body and then bacteria and viruses emerge to clean us up. The real answer is to take control over your body and your health so COVID-19 does not take control for you. The goal is to protect people. If you really want to keep yourself and your family safe, know and understand this important science and make healthy choices, body, mind, and spirit. If we understand the purpose of this virus, we can work with it instead of running and hiding from it. There are safe, natural ways to detoxify the body and rebuild new healthy cells to support the health and wellness of your organs. There are many different methods to choose from, and they are easy to incorporate into your daily lifestyle. This virus is a wake-up call. We have to stop living in fear and stop blaming the virus that was caused by us in the first place. We have to take control of our health and make changes now 
or stronger viruses will continue to emerge.